Yeah, I'm very happy for the tonight races because it's awesome. Uh, it was a very hard season, a lot of competition, and this the last competition, and I uh, like that I can uh, keep my shape. Yeah, and very awesome because the last time I was the second, now the first, and I'm very happy. And what was your first reaction when you saw the board? first reaction? Or when you saw the board? I did it. <laughs> so. And uh, yeah, so I mean, you go from world record holder now to uh, you know setting the championship record. Yeah. Um, how does this? How does this one? How does this feel? And two? How does this set you up for Fukuoka? Sorry, sir. And how does this set you up for the FINA World Championships in May in uh, Japan? Uh, in Japan. Sorry. First of all, how does it, how, how does it feel to be uh, to be a world champion and to huh. set the championship record? Uh, I think I don't know exactly yet, but maybe tomorrow I will understand you, <laughs> understand this. But now I'm just uh, happy that we, with my coach, can do it and so on. Yeah. And uh, how are you able to keep your shape so so good, like uh, be improving through this year? Uh, yeah, but all this uh, did my coach because uh, I would like to uh, prepare my shape from the start to start with competition, not without the uh, hard work and the training, just from this uh, competition, yeah. And uh, it was uh, very good that a lot of competition, ASL, European Championship, again ASL, and, uh, but now. But uh, I think it is a lot of, maybe I need a little, a little bit less, but uh, I think all did my coach. Because uh, maybe we walk one, two, three days, then we, again, the shape a little bit before the competition and we uh, repeat this every week so you go off to a really impressive start something you do quite regularly what's your mindset when you're going into races this weekend and into championships <laughs> if be honest i don't have a uh, one uh, set because my coach every week uh, um, how to say uh, uh, give me a new Exercise, yeah, and uh, I don't, I don't have uh, the same uh, uh, at, uh, every week. It's very interesting because uh, I don't ready for for the training, and when I come to the training, and, hmm, and you, okay, I will try, and then repeat uh, every week. Yeah, it's very awesome. Yeah, yeah. And so, when you get into your lane, when you're lining up, ready for that starting gun to go. So can you repeat? When you're getting into your lane. When you're getting ready for the race to start, yeah, what's going through your head at that point before? Oh, I think I should uh, I should know this just myself. <laughs> That's Sorry. fair. That's fair enough. Yeah, uh, if you please tell us about the conditions here in Abu Dhabi, how you, how you find uh, uh, at Had Arena, how how the whole condition help you to to get this uh, number? Yeah, it's very awesome, very beautiful. Arena very big, uh, very good pool, uh, a lot of uh, spectators. It's very awesome because the last competition without spectators. Yeah, and I like all what have this. Yeah. How do you look back at the 2021 season for you? Uh, it is uh, very hard, but very awesome uh, because my Olympic uh, games was not very well. But after this, I have very good set of competition. Yeah, a lot of world records, a lot of medals, and uh, I'm very happy because uh, uh, I not uh, I don't want to stay at the one place. I want to improve my results step by step, and uh, uh, I just do it. Yeah. I think we'll have two final questions from me, unless there's anyone else. Paris is only three years away. I know your Olympics weren't what you expected, but what do you expect of yourself in Paris? Oh, sorry. Paris Olympics, 2024. Yeah. yeah. Only three years. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I don't like uh, to think about the future. I just live in today and so. Finally, what do you think this medal means to Belarus? to your country, to people back in Minsk. How important is this? Uh, yeah, I think it's very uh, important for, for our country because we don't have uh, medals for a long time, maybe 10, maybe more, yes. Yeah, 
uh, in the men's swimming, maybe 20, 20, 25 years. Yeah, it's, I think it's very, very important. Uh, the, the season when you were setting world records, or and on the occasions when you did set world records, did you feel extra good in the water on those days? Uh, I don't know. No, just simple. <laughs> I, I, can you compare it to what you felt like in warm-up today? I mean, was it the same, or did you know that you had a world record in you those times versus today? I don't know, maybe today is a little bit new for me because World Championship is the first I've been, and maybe a little bit different <laughs> than before. Is, is no matter how you feel in the water, is your mentality pretty much the same heading into each race? Sure. <laughs> Regardless of how you were feeling in warm up, is yeah. your men your mental the same? Uh, today I think I feel much better than yesterday because yesterday was a little bit hard day. I don't know why, maybe because we changed pool, new water, but today really better. And I have a, li uh, a little expect because I don't like when pool is not deep. <laughs> For me, it's very awesome when I'm very deep and I feel better in the pull out, of course. It's a very important short course. And uh, we need to, I would say, uh, try something new in this pool, yeah. And I think I can do it. Yeah.